All right, so today we're going to replace the coil on this five horsepower horizontal shaft Briggs and Stratton engine. It's part of this uh, chipper shredder thing that I actually trash picked from my neighbor who lives across the street. He can't get it running, so that's part of the pro project. But I know it needs a coil because I took the coil out earlier because we were needing it for this go-kart. This go-kart engine's from the 70s and it had the points and condenser and I wanted to switch it out for a solid state electronic ignition coil. So I temporarily borrowed it from this guy and put it in this guy and that worked out great. Runs great. So the first thing I want to do and attempt to get this engine running is to put in a new coil which I have right here and I'll show you how to do that first thing you're going to do is remove one remove this cover this cover that has the pull pull starter as part of it these are 3 8 inch bolts there's two on the top and I already loosened them so to save a little time on video there's one off. There's two off. The other is that guy right down there. And then the fourth is this guy in here. A little bit harder to get to that guy. But he's off. Four bolts, so this should just come right off at this point. All right, so he comes off right there, and uh, it's to these two studs right here where the new coil is going to bolt up. I'm not sure what this is. This is on there. Maybe some kind of air shield or something. So I'm going to uh, bolt that bolt that new guy on there. Usually they're marked this side out. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it says. This side out. So it's going to go on this way. And then we're going to adjust it by putting about we're going to put like a business card between the uh, magneto and the flywheel. That's about the distance you want a business card. So I'm going to put the, I'm going to pause the camera, put this up there, and then I'll come back and show you how to finish it off. So let's take a look now. I have put the, the coil, the magneto, in place. And I've got a piece of, uh, I guess it's a postcard. Something about the thickness of a uh, business card is what you're going to put between the tabs of the coil and the flywheel. That's about the distance that you're going to want, the distance of a postcard. I haven't tightened it down yet, but I'm going to do that. I wanted to mention also that there's a tab on the back of the magneto where you connect the ground wire. That's the wire that's going to ground out the coil when you move your when you move your engine into stop it grounds out the uh, magneto and stops the engine so that wire has to be connected there in the back you can see where my finger is so that's good to go so now I'm just going to use the uh, ratchet and tighten down the uh, this new coil All right, so that's tight. Here's our here's our spark plug wire that's going to come up and uh, it's going to come up and connect to our spark plug right there. It fits in this little groove when we put the cover back on. All right, so now you can spin this, and that card will slip out. What you want to do is just turn the. That's the loud gears of the uh, 
chipper that you're hearing. But you turn your flywheel and make sure it does not rub against it because we put this card in. So everything, everything should be spaced properly. And that is the new Magneto installed. Really not all that difficult. And I hope this video has been helpful to you. I appreciate you watching. Please feel free to leave a comment if you have one.